Hello again. Today we will install a cool uh, custom sentence automation uh, which will broadcast a message to all of the View Assist devices uh, in your group. Um, we use this very often with our commercial. Um, commercial voice assistant when we want to uh, make announcements like uh, dinner is ready or it's time to leave or or something like that. This is one of the must-haves that, that we need uh, to be able to uh, convert over to uh, to home assistant um, uh, voice assistant. So um, if you watched the last video that I posted um, on installing Chime TTS, you will need that for sure. But uh, let's get started on this. Um, in the uh, in the links uh, below, I'll have uh, link the uh, broadcast uh, blueprint as well as the uh, the other information that's needed to get this installed. We will need to install Google Translate uh, at DTS. Uh, this is not hard, it's just a, an additional step. And we'll also need to uh, put a, a sound where we can uh, reach it for uh, Chime TTS. So um, let's click on uh, the detailed instructions to get over to the page that will show us uh, the Google Translate uh, information that we'll need to add and we could do that first. So what we'll do is we'll hit this copy button to copy to our clipboard and then we'll go over to overview file editor <coughs> we'll go to our home assistant um, uh, uh, directory go to configuration.yaml we'll scroll down to the bottom far in the empty line and the Python script just fine uh, and then we'll paste this we'll hit save and uh, then we are done with that we'll need a, a restart but while we're here um, let's go back to our file system go back to the home assistant configuration directory um, we'll scroll to custom components chime TTS scroll down um, there's some mp3s here so we need to pick one for our um, our sound that will play before the uh, text-to-speech. The one that I would suggest is this soft that MP3. Um, and we'll click download, and this is going to download this um, this file to a place on your uh, computer. And of course, you can't see what I just did, but it did download. And then we'll go and go back back a few times until we get to our home assistant configuration file I mean a directory scroll down to www you should have a directory called view assist if you don't you can create it by clicking this new folder and typing in view assist and then um, we're in here these are some of the places where we put uh, the files I like the backgrounds and uh, other uh, mp3s you can see I already have that soft.mp3 in here when I was using for testing but it's an easy thing for you to do. What you do is click upload uh, file, file, and then pick the direct uh, pick the uh, file location in the file where you just downloaded this. Click OK, and it'll upload it here. So that's all we need to do in in, uh, in the file uh, editor. So at this point, we can go ahead and restart Home Assistant. Uh, we'll go to Settings, um, and then restart Home Assistant restart home assistant and again uh, yep as usual uh, at this point I'd like to say uh, to uh, like and subscribe to the, uh, the channel um, it really helps us out and checks out on discord really good things happening uh, over there okay home assistant has restarted so now we can add the uh, the blueprint so we'll click import uh, blueprint to my home assistant make sure it's going to your instance click open link and it'll show you that it's importing the blueprint import blueprint one moment okay i made a slight adjustment i did some um some fine replace and <laughs> made a small mistake so uh, we're back to where we were before we'll open the link and we'll import the blueprint hit preview this time it actually comes in and then we'll say import blueprint and as you can see it has come in Again, a reminder that if uh, we make uh, updates, all you have to do is come to the three dots in the uh, blueprint section, 
um, and uh, click the uh, re-import blueprint and it would load the new code and update your automations. So uh, here we are, so we'll go ahead and click this and um, you can see that the command text oh, is also uh, needing to be modified. Um, and I'll do that uh, off camera, but um, the command text allows you to say things like uh, broadcast, um, <coughs> announce, tell everyone, and then you say the message and it will, um, it will broadcast that message to uh, all the view assist uh, satellites in the group. Uh, another thing about the command text, I'm making these things where they're editable, so if you speak a language other than English and can translate it, you should be able to change these, uh, these values uh, to the language of your choice. And um, just make sure that you don't change anything that's in the uh, curly braces, as these are variables. But everything else um, in the command text uh, that looks like plain text, you can change to the language you're choosing. Um, <clears throat> you will need to set your home assistant group entity, so you can search for the group and click it here. You also need to have the info, um, the info view uh, set up, and I have a video for that that I'll link. And you will also need to put the chime path for the chime that um, uh, the sound that we put earlier. So in our case, we put it in www view assist, and it's called soft.mp3. If you choose a different uh, file name or path, you'll need to uh, correct that here. So hit save, and then we'll give it a name. View assist broadcast is fine for me. We'll say rename, and it will create that automation. So at this point, we're ready to give it a try. So if you hold just a second, I will get the Android screen up and give a demo. So here we are on the, on the device, and I'll give it a shot. Okay, Nabu. Broadcast, this is a test. This is a test. So, I'm not sure if you could hear it or not, but it did uh, play the chime and it does say uh, whatever the message is that, that we announced. Um, know that the uh, system I have here is. Uh, running all local on a fairly slow machine. Um, I do use uh, cloud service uh, through um, a home assistant, which greatly speeds things up. Uh, I would uh, advise that, that you uh, support home assistant by using their cloud service. It's not very much money uh, and you do get a, a great benefit, but if you have a faster computer and want to uh, definitely run it all local, then that's an option for you too. Uh, one last thing on the uh, broadcast. The broadcast will only broadcast to devices that are not in do not disturb mode. And if you are in hold mode on a screen, which means that you are um, you're not wanting to uh, to change the uh, the screen because you may be looking at a website or or doing something else, uh, the sound will play, but it will not change the display, so it won't interrupt your uh, usage. Uh, so it will not. A display on any of the satellites with a screen that are in whole mode. So that's the demo of uh, broadcast, uh, a really cool uh, function, and I think you'll get a lot of use out of it, um, as we do. Uh, but that is it for now, and until next time, we will see you later.